we're, we're making progress. <laughs> Dress to feel good and, and feel good, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have a little cooking date tonight. Hope that's fun. I am just moody and grumpy. <laughs> Hi friends, good morning, how are you? Welcome back to the channel for a one day vlog. I have lots planned for us today, but to be honest, I think the construction guys are coming this morning and they've been here the last two days and it has been so loud. And so I woke up early, got ready really early because I want to make sure to start the vlog and show you a couple of things before maybe they get here and are super loud. So I hope it's okay with you if we just jump right into it because I have something really exciting that I want to show y'all. Um, and then we can do all of our normal things, run our errands. I want to tackle junk drawers today too. That's big on my list. I thought maybe if it's okay with you, we could start with a little unboxing because I've been dying to open this box. I got here a couple days ago, but I've been saving it for y'all because I know when you get a new bag, that's kind of like a big part of the fun is opening the box of the bag. This is from Songmont. They are sponsoring today's video. I got my first Songmont bag. It was maybe like a year and a half ago. The quality is so good. It has held up so well. So when I got the opportunity to work with them, I was like, you know what? I love this brand and I would love to work with them and get a discount code for y'all. I have this bag. This is the Songmont chocolate collection. I feel like I wanna let y'all know my code up front so you can keep it because any percent off of like a more splurge item really saves you a good chunk of change. So my code is mikelj 12 which if you know, 12 is my lucky number, 12% off. All of their bags are made from a, like a premium European leather, but they have a super transparent supply chain so you can know all the details of where everything's sourced from. I'll show you more about this in a second. I just wanna open this with you. I think also something that is so cute about their brand, they employ a lot of elderly people, specifically these women that have previously retired and employ them to give them additional income and like something fun to do. The average age of their elder craftsman team is 65, which I think is really sweet. So this, oh. oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. This is called the drippy toes. It has this ear on each side, which is also magnetic, which is cool, but they're pockets. So you can like put your phone in here or like your lip gloss and your keys so that it's super accessible. But I also think it just makes it look really elevated and cool. This is the medium one. It holds, if you wanna use this as like a co-working bag or a work bag or whatever, this size holds a 13 inch laptop, but they have a larger drippy tote bag as well that can hold like a 16 inch laptop if you have the bigger one. I carry around my small laptop. I have my laptop right here. This is gonna be so perfect. I'm excited to honestly take this with me on my errands today. Throw my vlog camera in there. And then about this guy, I wanted to show you a couple more close-ups. Look at how cute. First, this is how you open the front main pocket. And then there's this additional little pocket on the back, which has been so convenient. Like I took this on a date night the other night with Jordy and I just had like my lip gloss and stuff in the back. And then the main body was my car keys, my phone and everything like that. And it was the perfect size. And I love this too, because you can wear it crossbody or you could pull up this strap and it's adjustable and it can be like a little thing that you hold. Anyways, I just think these are so cute. I'm going on and on and on about them. Mikel J12. 12% off. I will link these down below just as a reminder. Okay, here's my little outfit of the day that I paired to go with this bag. I just wanted something comfy and casual, but that I still felt cute in because I'm feeling, I'll give y'all an update later. I've been messing with my hormones and I've been feeling, I've been feeling. So these pants are nice and like stretchy, but I still feel so cute. And this bag looks so cute with this outfit. I'm not gonna quite strike out on errands yet because the construction guys aren't here and I wanna get every minute of quiet time in this house that I can. I think I think that everything should be done this week. They said by the 5th, and that is this Friday, and they've been making very rapid progress. Things were delayed because we had um, specific soundproofing materials that we had ordered that were delayed, so that was on us, but um, we're getting there. We're getting so there. Let me tell you the plans for tonight. The morning light is really coming through today. The windows are literally closed and look at that. Um, okay, so here is kind of the general plan for the day. Have some errands to run. Tonight we're having some friends over for dinner. One of the guys is helping Jordy build out his studio. So he's been here all day, every day this week. His wife is one of my favorite people. So we were like, hey, when y'all are done with the physical labor today, you wanna come over for dinner? I actually need to thaw steaks. We have some more butcher box steaks 
and they're just so good. They're so good. They're like my favorite steak. So we said, do you guys want to come over for steak tonight? And her birthday is tomorrow. So I kind of want to surprise her and find like a little birthday cake or something. I don't know. I'm sure I can just find like a pre-made one somewhere and have a little birthday cake for her tonight because she's in school and I know she's bummed about being in school all day on her birthday tomorrow. So I thought that would be sweet. And then also my friend who is incredibly pregnant, the one that we had the baby shower for, she still hasn't had her baby, which is shocking because I thought the baby would have been here by now. Um, and she posted on her Instagram story that she tried to go to Target yesterday to get cleaning supplies and it just about killed her. And she's like, I, she's like, I'm, I'm not going to go out of the house anymore. So I texted her and I was like, are there any other errands that you need to run? She's like, actually there are some groceries. So I figured we can go to Trader Joe's, get her some groceries, also get things for dinner tonight. I'm going to let Jordy make the steaks, but what I have in mind, I just looked at Pinterest. I kind of want to riff off these things. I saw this dish which is like, like sauteed super umami mushrooms over pureed butter beans, which looks really good. And then I saw these like crispy potato stacks. This one is a sweet potato with thyme and garlic, but I kind of also want to do a carrot dish. So I feel like maybe a regular crispy potato stack. And then I want to like riff off a carrot dish of like charred carrots, yogurt, chili crisp, maybe either pine nuts or pistachio and like some torn herbs and just have three vegetable sides that are just like on big serving platters to go with the steak. So we're gonna have a little cooking date tonight. Hope that's fun. Something else I really, okay. These drawers, every time I open these drawers, I feel like I keep reorganizing them. This one specifically, I don't even know what's in this drawer. I just, at some point today, I want to tackle these. I feel like I could probably get rid of everything in this drawer and then rearrange the kitchen. I wish there was a way to expand our pantry space a little bit. And this drawer down here is just lids for pots and pans. So if I could move that to one of those junk drawers that probably we don't need, then I could do this as like additional pantry stuff. Maybe even a whole baking drawer of like just flowers, sugars, bears oh my <laughs> because i don't use baking things super often but it does take up a lot of space in the pantry so if i could make that like a baking that's just i'm just spitballing with you right now that's a project that i might want to do later and that's something we could do montage style if there's construction noise speaking of construction noise hey jordy can i show them the garage progress is it okay if i open the garage door sweet the laundry room is coming along they've officially mudded on the inside so I think next they're gonna level the floors, finish the drywall on the outside and mud it. But this is the special soundproofing stuff. You see how there's like this gap between the drywall and the insulation. That apparently is an additional like level of soundproofing, which is gonna be amazing. So um, yeah, I'm getting really excited to see all the shelving and all the storage. Here's my little dream little closet that we will have some sort of curtain or door here. This needs to remain a panel to access. This is, I think, our heater. So I can either do a shelf all the way across the top and then like shelves, like halfway shelves here. I might do that and then have room for like brooms, standing brooms. So I might see if they can just bring the shelving all the way out to like here. And then there's gonna be cabinets here because that'll be above the washer dryer. So that'll be exciting. So this is my room. Jordy's room, his studio, is coming along. We will be taking down the ceiling, we've decided, because the ceiling above this is very cool and vaulted and just kind of cool vibes. So I think that that is part of the plan. Um, and then they've been building sound panels as well this week. And he painted, the walls were gray, now they're white, because I think that there's gonna be a lot of gear on the walls, so he wanted it just as like simple as possible. Look at this, these giant holes cut up in the ceiling. Oh wow, yeah, the ceiling is so cool and vaulted up here, let me show you. I actually hadn't seen since they cut this big of a hole, but that's what the ceiling's gonna look like up there. So vaulted wood, make it feel a little bit bigger in here, and all they have to do is just pull down. This drywall is just attached to the beams. So there'll be beams going across, which will be cool, and then conceal all those wires and everything up there. Oh man, we've been making a mess in this home. Let me tell you what. Progress is progress though. We got some new doors that will be installed. I think these are like extra insulated to be a little more soundproofed as well. 
And then Jordy and his pal, who's staying for dinner tonight, made all of these. They're gonna make more. These are basically like bass sound panels where you put them in each corner and it absorbs all of the bass sounds so that that like boom, boom, boom doesn't travel beyond the walls as much. So they've been making those from scratch. I'm like pretty impressed. Look at that woodworking. And it's just filled with a certain type of insulation on the inside of these. So anyways, those are all of those updates. And one other update is we planted my birthday tree, my orange tree. I'll show you where it ended up living, but okay, I actually have a question. Somebody might know this. I've heard a rumor, and I've tried to Google it. It was kind of unclear. I've heard a rumor that in California, if you have a certain number of fruit trees, you could technically be considered like a home orchard. And then you have like a tax deduction. My parents have done things like that before where like you can have bees on your property and then that's a tax deduction. And I've heard a rumor that it's just like 12 or 15 or like not a huge number of fruit trees. And I feel like we already have over 12 fruit trees. So I'm like, are we just a couple of fruit trees away from being an orchard? So this is Citrus Row. We have our big lemon, our pink lemon. This is my new like regular little orange tree. And then back there, that baby one is technically a blood orange tree. I feel like it's pretty far from fruiting. So this whole row right here is all citrus, which is so cute. And then down there goes like avocado and other things, apple. So here she is. I love that the birthday bow is still on her, even though she's fully planted in the ground. And we have this irrigation system set up as well. It's rained this week, so it's so wet over here. But it's nice because the irrigation system keeps all of these perfectly watered so that they're not gonna die because I'm actually kind of bad at keeping things alive. Lemon tree is thriving. Look at how big some of these are. Massive. Okay, I just took a, I just took just like a 40 minute work break to clean out my inbox, upload some footage and have a little virtual quick, quick, quick meeting. And still the guys aren't here. I'm feeling so lucky. So I was thinking about it. This is my plan. I've been treating this junk drawer basically like it's a coat closet. Like there's a couple things in here, like tote bags. Normally I throw Max's leash in here. There's probably an umbrella somewhere in here. And that is nice to have since we don't have a coat closet. But this drawer is all Max stuff. And I honestly don't even know what some of this stuff is. Maybe we can combine Max and coat closet into one drawer and then have a whole additional drawer. Let's organize. Let's get this done and then, then we'll head out on some errands, okay? feeling good about our progress. I feel like having a separate baking drawer is gonna be so nice because all that stuff took up. <laughs> Are you looking to see what it is? There's no treats in here. <laughs> he knows normally when I open a low drawer, I'm getting him a treat. I like hardly use the stuff and it took up so much pantry and like you can see it all here. If someone is house sitting for us and looking for flour, they're never gonna find it, but I'll just remember to tell them. And then over here, basically this is all of the Max and coat closet stuff. So like leash will go here. I need to find our umbrella. 
And now this is the interesting surfwear slash, I don't know what to do with. Like we got a replacement lock because our lock was broken, but then it kind of self-corrected. So I'm like, what do we do with this replacement lock? And then all of my weird surfwear stuff for like fun dinners. Like I got the shells, I got ramekins, I got all the pottery stuff I've made, which lets me put all the lids here, which honestly isn't great lid storage. I would love, I wonder if they're too tall. Yeah, probably. I would love to like stack them all vertically and like the small ones could totally stack, but there's not enough room for the large ones. So if anybody has any ideas for how to organize lids, obviously I love the lid hangers that go inside of a pantry door, but we don't have a pantry door. So I haven't been able to use my lid hangers since moving here. So any creative solutions, I'm so open. I'm gonna take this boy on a walk and then we're gonna head out to go to Aaron's, Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna get Birthday Girl a nice bottle of wine. And then I might also see, I have a gift card actually, it's communal. I might see if Sarah wants a coffee and I'll get us both a coffee for when I bring her some groceries. It's a good day, bud. Okay, we're going to walk? Okay, let's go. I told y'all I would keep you updated on my journey and my experience of trying to get off hormonal birth control. I am now five days in and to be honest I am just moody and grumpy like I am so grumpy and it's very unlike me I'm not used to feeling like I don't have control over my attitude like normally I feel like that's something I have a pretty tight grasp over as I have a good attitude and it has just felt out of my control and you know what's so interesting about having a moody and grumpy attitude is you feel like you just attract more things going wrong this is my theory like you feel like you know you catch more red lights or like more things break or like people kind of have a meaner attitude to you my theory is when you're already grumpy and moody those little things bother you more so you like notice them and you look for them but i feel like every single little thing is malfunctioning lately like my my maps weren't working on the way here my little vacuum robot thing stopped working like started malfunctioning like little things like that in the last few days i just feel like they keep happening but i really think it's when you're in a good mood you're like oh it's not like you, you have perspective and you're like this is no problem it's really not a big deal i also think people kind of match your energy like i'm used to people being very warm and kind to me and i think it's because i initiate that and i think lately i've just been the last few days putting off a different energy than i've ever really put off before and people have just not quite been as friendly to me lately <laughs> I keep apologizing to Jordy. I'm like, I'm sorry I'm so grumpy. And he's like, I think it's in your head because you've been totally fine. But in my head, I'm like, I also think doing some things like, you know, every time I open those drawers in my kitchen, I just, oh, I'm just like, Ugh. I just get mad. So eliminating things like that whenever I can is helpful. And then doing things for other people. That's why I'm looking forward to doing errands for friends, cooking for friends, hosting friends, things like that. That always kind of reframes my mindset for me and puts me in a better mood because it's not like all about me. I'm like taking time out of my day to do something for someone else. And I really actually think that is literally as helpful as therapy in terms of reframe. Oh, I got a book, a therapy session. I just realized I told her I was going to email her after I was back in town. Sorry. I think it's just as helpful as therapy for like reframing my mindset. So that's a little tip for you, but let's go run some errands. Trader Joe's, groceries for me, groceries for Sarah, coffee for Sarah, wine for a friend, birthday cake, go home, start cooking and prepping for tonight. Construction's officially happening. It's not that bad right now. It's not great. I made a couple impulse buys at Trader Joe's that I've never seen before. First off, 
rice cakes from the frozen section. I'm so excited. It says you want rice cakes, huh? I love you. And this one is gonna require some research from me because it doesn't say gluten-free, but I was reading through all of the ingredients and the soy sauce it says is basically tamari. The soy sauce in here is water, soybeans, salt. No wheat. I'm pretty sure I can eat this. I'm just gonna do a quick Google because I am dying to try this. It's frozen. You just microwave it, which is really interesting, but it's kimbap and it looks so good. Tofu, vegetable, seaweed, rice roll. I'm gonna heat it up while I Google, but we can try this together before we cook tonight. <laughs> so much happening, Max, so much is going on. Oh, and our steaks might be soft. Okay, after some online digging, I have confirmed someone reached out and asked Trader Joe's customer service. It is gluten-free. It's not certified because shared facility, but it's not on shared equipment. So I feel good to try it. I can't find my chopsticks anywhere. So I don't know if it's better to use my fingers or a fork, but let's give this a little, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Okay. Huh? That was so good. This is gonna be my go-to lunch. I got some mini cakes, because they didn't have any pre-made ones. But we got some like cheesecakes and like a chocolate mousse and a banana, I mean a Boston cream pie. Pretty fun. I'll put them out, put a little candle. Who is it? Welcome. Hi. You wanna try the thing I got too, Ghost? Oh, sure. It's like a hot um, tofu sushi roll. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? It's like a couple bucks. That's so good. Right? Good fine. Thanks, I know. Everyone. It's gluten-free. It's not very loud right now, which is great. I've just cleaned the kitchen. I'm gonna start cooking. I think I actually found there's polenta at Trader Joe's. Um, I got uh, butter beans and I might kind of try both, but I feel like a Parmesan polenta with the mushrooms on top would be so good. So I might do the Parmesan polenta with mushrooms, the carrots with yogurt, and then I can't decide if I want to do, I don't know how to say it, zhong sauce, like the spicy green sauce or chili oil and then the potatoes i just got regular potatoes instead of sweet potatoes i've officially decided that so gonna put prep all those things and i think that we're just gonna end off on a little montage max wants indoor outdoor privileges really quick but he can't go in the backyard right now because the garage door is open that goes straight to the street because they're replacing the doors so he has this like long like 30 foot leash so that he can go all the way around the backyard and all the way around the den because you don't like not having the ability to go wherever you want, huh? But I want to say thanks again to Songma for sponsoring this video. Loved my tote bag today. It was so handy. And then I love my cute little date night bag as well. But Mikkel J12, 12% off. So I'll have all of that linked down below. But for now, <laughs> let's end off on a little cooking montage. Okay. 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 What do you do? When the words that you speak in truth fall to the ground What do you do when you walk in for days only to turn back around What do you do, 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 do When the lens is blue Where do you gaze when the world's a reminder of someone you've lost How do you pray when the good ones are those always left